It's already the end of May. guys welcome back to my channel but if you're new here my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK but I do all things Disney on this channel so if that's something that interests you then please consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell so that you're always notified when there's a new video from me so happy Friday I hope you've all had a great week this is my last upload day of the month so I am here with my May favourites. Now I would usually start with what I've bought, but I would like to start with what I've been loving. So first of all, I've got my stitch jumper on that was gifted to me by Primark. If you didn't see that gifted Primark haul, I will leave a card up above. This is by far one of my favourite pieces. I really love the detail on the arm. It's very oversized, it's very comfy. I just absolutely love it, so I thought I would film in it today. But thank you so much to everybody who congratulated me and watched the YouTube video, engaged with my Instagram content, all that kind of stuff. I am just blown away that it even happened, yet alone the positive response for it. And then another favourite this month was the release of Olivia Rodrigo's album Sour. It came out on the 21st of May and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. My favourite songs are Brutal and Jealousy Jealousy. I just think it's an incredible album. I've got no skips, it's just absolutely stellar. So if you haven't listened to that already, go stream it on Apple Music or Spotify. So I'm going to shake it up even more and I'm going to go on to what I've read. I've read quite a few books this month. You can follow me on my bookstagram account, Lizzie is reading. But my favourite book this month has been The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary. She wrote The Flat Share and The Switch and I didn't love The Road Trip as much until I got about two thirds of the way through it and then there was a plot twist and by that point I could not put the book down and I finished the rest of it in a couple of hours basically. At first I didn't connect to the characters but once I got to know them a bit better because it's set in the present day with flashbacks it all started to make sense and it was just incredible so I highly recommend that book. And then what I've been watching I must admit I've been doing more reading I usually finish work at I have my dinner, I watch Richard Osman's House of Games with my mum on BBC2 and then I go in the bath and read so I don't watch a lot of TV but because High School Musical, the musical series, series 2 was launching in May I decided to watch the first series so I watched that in the space of a weekend I really really enjoyed it and that was pretty much all I've watched this month so on to what I've bought, we are going to start with Shop Disney and there has been quite a few things luckily. So I know I did say that I would bring you a new emos haul every month but the drop this month included no plushes and there was only one outfit I really really wanted so I only got that and then it obviously wasn't worth giving you a separate video. So the outfit I got was from Fashion Collection number 3 it's got a blue beach towel, a green Hawaiian shirt and shorts combo and some orange sliders. So this is meant to be for like Mickey or Donald because that's who's wearing it in the promos but I'm going to have it for Minnie. I'm quite disappointed that because you can't take her bloomers off she would not be able to wear a conventional swimsuit because she would see her bloomers. So I think I'm just going to put this on top of her for some beach pics in the summer if I managed to get to a beach but I was quite disappointed with that drop as it was like advertised as summer fashion and then there were no swimsuits so I was like what am I going to put her in because the feminine outfits were like dresses none of them came with a beach towel so I basically just bought this for the beach towel I'm going to be honest the prices have gone up now so these are 11 95 it does make them harder to justify especially for key releases it makes sense to buy one outfit and then something that's about nine pound like a plush or a mug rather than buying two outfits now because that takes you up to near 24 pound so it's harder for me to do these big hauls of new emos because even though everything has only increased by one, two, three pounds, that really adds up 
when you are buying a lot of items in a collection. So I bought that one and then I bought an outfit I think for a key release because there's been quite a few key releases this month, I'll mention that in a minute. And I got this with a mug I'm going to show you. So again this was 11 95 it's one of the older New Emo's outfits, I think it was in the original drop. It's called Wardrobe Essentials. You've just got a navy blue hat. It's quite a big hat with a big like brim and a brown jumpsuit. I thought this would be good for Minnie. I don't really know where to take pictures of her in it. Maybe like in the middle of Birmingham or something because it's a very like big city statement outfit. But this is what I got for one of the keys because there's been so many keys. And then these aren't from Shop Disney, I actually had to get them from Bello Shop HK. So if you didn't see my review of that pickup service, I will leave a card up above. But basically I've been annoyed from day one that the Shop Disney UK site didn't get the lounge fly backpacks for the new emails. So I ordered the red and white polka dot lounge fly backpack again this is for mini so they've actually stuffed it which i find hilarious because i'm not a person that stuffs my lounge fly backpacks they are on my wall and i'm going to be showing them to you next month but i don't put the stuffing back in them that's just not my thing so i am going to be taking this off the board and taking the packaging out and actually using it for mini so if i'm taking her somewhere and i want her to have an outfit change i'm going to try and shove it into the little lounge fly backpack so that's essentially why i bought it so this had to come from hong kong disneyland and then this i believe was exclusive to the japan disney store and you've already seen it in my thumbnail and it's the aerial new emos so this cost $33 because they have to include the price to ship from Japan to Hong Kong and then ship to you. But I didn't mind paying that at all, especially with the UK price increase. It works out a little bit better now anyway because $33 would be somewhere around £25 and they're £15 now anyway. So it's a little easier to justify. They also have a Jasmine but obviously that would have cost me $66 altogether. So I just got Ariel. I really love her. She's got a detachable tail and under the tail are normal feet and this stays on so actually I could use that swimsuit outfit for her and just have the shirt open so that you can see the seashell bra and I think that would actually look super cute so maybe the swimsuit is going to be for Ariel and then I got one pin set this month from Shop Disney this is the inside out pin set it costs £12 so you've got anger in the middle with his head on fire and then you've got disgust fear and joy all toasting marshmallows off his head but sadness can't because she's dropped her marshmallow on the floor and i just think it's absolutely amazing they've captured every single emotion so well and it looks really nice displayed on the backing card as well so i probably won't take it off and then this is on pre-order on pop in a box but i saw it in shop disney uk and i was like quick get it because then i don't have to put a pre-order in and it is the ultimate princess tiana pop so these ones come with a little stand and on the stand there is a teddy bear and a book she's got a frog in her hand and i believe that's a fan in her other hand so in this release you can get Aurora, Ariel and Jasmine as well. They have already announced a series 2 that includes Rapunzel, Moana, Pocahontas, all of my favourites. So I'll have to get some of those as well. But I am actually hoping to get all of these. It's just, you know, £10-11 at a time. I can't just buy them all in one go. So I got Tiana first because I don't think I've got a single Tiana pop. But as I've started keeping them in the box, I'm not going to take it out for you guys. So I did mention that I bought this last thing for a Disney key. There have been quite a few keys this month. There's even been a Disney mystery key release, which I did do an unboxing of last Saturday. So if you didn't see that, I will leave a card up above. I am contemplating stopping collecting keys after the recent Pride key release because it's just a bit too much for me to keep up with. I've been doing my Disney key collection videos where I've been showing you like last year's keys that came out one or two months apart and now we're getting two or three key drops a month and it's just too much money even with the new Cruella key that they've made that you can buy separately. I just 
can't afford to keep buying all of these keys, I am first and foremost a Disney plush collector. Disney plush make me far happier than Disney keys do, so I think I've got to draw a line somewhere. So you will probably be seeing less Disney keys from me in the future. But I think to get the princess key that they released, I got this mug. So like I said, I got one of those new emails outfits and it came to like almost £12, so I just needed to spend like another 8 or 9 So this mug was £9 and it's the Winnie the Pooh mug. So it's cream at the top and then there's a horizontal line and it goes to mustard yellow and then there's illustrations of Pooh Bear on it. I absolutely love this. I think this is staying at home. But the rest of the Winnie the Pooh bits that I'm now going to show you are all going to be for my office. So consider this video to be like a back to the office haul because I've bought quite a lot of stuff. So I think this is staying at home purely because I also bought my mum the Piglet mug. So we will be matching when we have our coffee in the morning. And now we're going to go on to Asda. I only bought one thing from Asda but it is for my desk at work. So this is a Winnie the Pooh fake succulent. So the plant pot is pink with black polka dots and then you've got half of Pooh Bear's face and then just a very fake succulent. I think this cost five or six pounds but we couldn't find it in store so my mum ordered it on the website for me. So when I do go back, I'll be talking about it a bit more in my Hello June video. I will be taking this into the office with me. And then I got this from Aldi about a month ago, but I kept forgetting to show you. It is a Winnie the Pooh six piece writing set. It was 4 99 It contains a notebook, a notepad, some sticky notes, a pen, a pencil and a rubber. So I really liked this set, I love that it's all matching and I'm going to be taking this into the office with me as well. And now onto Primark and it's not all for the office so I'm going to do the office bits first. So the reason the Shop Disney mug isn't for the office is because I've already bought another one for the office. So this is the Primark Winnie the Pooh mug, it is pink with a Pooh bear on the handle and it says never stop dreaming with a little honey bee and I absolutely adore it. So this was £6 and it's very hard to get hold of. My mum managed to find the last one in the Primark we went to. So I'm really, really happy that I managed to get this mug. I think it's going to be for decoration because I just love it too much to potentially break. But when I'm back in the office, I will take a little picture for you of how it all looks. It is pink and red with a Pooh Bear and it just says notes and inside it is lined with Pooh Bear in the corner and this was only £2 so I couldn't say no and it won't last very long to be honest, I write a lot down. And then the other notebook says together is a wonderful place to be, it's very textured and it is Tigger and Pooh hugging Eeyore with Eeyore hugging Piglet and this one was £2.50. And again, it's lined, they are all hugging in that corner and in the top corner it says Winnie the Pooh. So that is everything that is for work, but there is one more item that's Winnie the Pooh. So this was £6 and it's the new Winnie the Pooh throw, where it says Be Kind all down it with the characters. So you've got Eeyore on the first, Be Kind, and then Piglet and then Pooh. There isn't Tigger on this, but I will forgive them because I think this is beautiful. It sends a very clear message to adults and children alike. I think everybody needs to remember to be kind, especially at the moment. So I just absolutely love this. I think it might go on my reading chair. And then, as you guys know, I got sent a lot of the Stitch items from Primark, but there was one thing that I really wanted to get, and it is this Stitch phone holder. So you just pop your phone in there, and it holds your phone upright for you. It's really good when I'm at my desk, and I'm watching a YouTube video because I used to just have it lie on the table and if the sun came in I couldn't see it. So this has been a godsend and it was only £4 so can't go wrong really. And then if you haven't seen my video I did on my Disney car I will leave a card up above but everything is red Minnie Mouse in that. Now when I saw that Primark's car range was Mickey I was a bit on the fence but I've decided to buy this one item because if they bring out a mini I will just move this to my passenger side and if they don't bring out a mini then I might do a little DIY project trying to make this mini. So this is the Mickey Mouse seatbelt cushion. I don't know whether it was 
four or six pound I'm not 100% sure but as you can see if I just put like some eyelashes and a bow there it would look like mini and if I covered that up with a bow it would look like mini so it wouldn't be that hard but for now I'm just going to keep it as Mickey you never know this might mean that I start putting red Mickey Mouse in my car as well and just to fill it further I don't know we'll have to see but I absolutely love this seatbelt cushion and as soon as this video is finished I'm going to pop it in my car and then the final item I have wanted for such a long time so I'm so glad I finally got my hands on it I think it was £10 it might have been more and it's the Minnie Mouse yoga mat so it's in this little waterproof cover so you can take it to the gym but I don't go to the gym and it's red with Minnie Mouse on the yoga mat I haven't used it yet because I wanted to show it to you guys but I like to do a bit of stretching before and after I use my exercise bike and I didn't have anything to put on the floor so now I've got a yoga mat I can use. So that was my, my favourite. I can't believe that apart from the Ariel there's been no plush but trust me I have ordered some plushes. I've got some Squishmallows coming, I've got some Wishables coming, I've got some Parks plushes coming so don't worry there will be a lot of Parks content on this channel. There were just no real plushes that I could pop in this video for you today. So that is it from me. I hope you have a great weekend. There won't be a video from me tomorrow. So I will just see you on Tuesday for my Hello June video. I hope you enjoy the rest of May and I will see you in June. Bye guys.